They did change field position, though, with that sack on defense a little bit. Second out from the stamp 44. And Burris looks downfield, and this one is picked off. Intercepted by Robert Bean, who's been the super sub for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. That's his fourth interception of the year. Every time somebody get, goes down, he comes in and gets the job done for the Blue Bombers. He's leading the team, and, and this takes a long time from one hash mark all the way to the far sideline is a long throw. And if you're playing the wide side corner like Robert Bean and you don't quit on the ball, you've got a chance at it. That ball took a long time with that wobble on it to get there. How many steamboats does it take? One steamboat, two steamboats, three seconds to get from that hash mark to the sideline. Robert Bean stuck with it, and he's got himself his fourth interception. Two of his four interceptions have come against Henry Burris, who has tossed 18 now on the year. And the turnover totals are now even. Second and goal from the three. No play action. Oh, no, no, it's a kick it outside. Trying to get to the corner. And Kelly Malvo says no. The former Stampeder. Denies the touchdown. Well, Kelly Malvo's all of a sudden got a little bit of linebacker experience in him. He was thrown into action up in the linebacking core when Ike Charlton went down. They had to do some juggling. So on absolutely no notice, Kelly Malvo went down and played linebacker a few weeks ago. And then he comes back. He goes back into the secondary when they have injuries there. And he showed a little bit of that linebacker experience and secondary speed to get to jo Joffrey Reynolds on the outside and drag him down from behind. Collars Reynolds brings him down 